Hey guys, how are you today? So I have a great story to read to you. It is called Silly Sally. Oh my goodness, look at her. This is Sally. She's the character in the story. She's the main character. There are several other characters as well, but Sally is the main character of our story, Silly Sally. And we're gonna see how just how silly she is. She goes for a walk into town. Have you ever walked into town? Some of you might have. Um, what are some other ways that you might get into town if you don't walk there? I might drive a car. How else could you get there? Um, and then, have you ever been silly? Now I know you can be silly, but have you ever been silly? Let's see what happens with Silly Sally. Silly Sally went to town walking backwards upside down. That was pretty crazy. Can you walk on your hands? Can you walk backwards? Can you walk upside down? On the way, she met a pig, a silly pig. They danced a jig. I love to dance. There's so many different ways to dance. They're dancing a jig. Pig and jig, they're rhyming words. Silly Sally went to town dancing backwards, upside down. I wonder, I don't know if you can see in the illustration, that's the drawing, what the next animal might be. She's dancing with a pig, she's doing a jig, but there's another animal coming up and there's a clue. There is a clue in our illustration if you look closely. On the way she met a dog, a silly dog. They played leapfrog. Silly Sally went to town, leaping backwards, upside down. There's Sally, she's the main character. There's the pig and the dog. Look who's peeking out of the water. Hmm. On the way, she met a loon. I know he looks like a duck or a goose, doesn't he? But he's called a loon. On the way, she met a loon, a silly loon. They sang a tune. That's another rhyming word, loon and tune. Silly Sally went to town singing backwards, upside down. Let's count how many characters there are. One, two, three, four. Do you see who the next character might be? Look at the illustration. There's another animal lurking over on the side. Oh! <gasps> On the way, she met a sheep, a silly sheep. They fell asleep, sheep and sleep. Now that's what I like to do. I like to take long naps. There they are, Silly Sally, the main character, and a sheep, another character. Now how did Silly Sally get to town sleeping backwards upside down? Along came Nettie Buttercup, walking forwards straight side up. Look at Sally. She's got the pig, the dog, the sheep, the loon, um, standing upside down on her head, walking backwards. But Nettie, Nettie's going forwards and he's standing straight up. That's the way I need to walk. When I was a kid, I could stand on my hands and walk. I couldn't go backwards. But now, Mrs. Lee needs to walk straight up. It's hard enough to do that. He tickled the pig who danced a jig. He tickled the dog who played leapfrog. He tickled the loon who sang a tune. He tickled the sheep who fell asleep. He tickled Sally who woke right up. She tickled Nettie Buttercup. And that's how Sally got to town. Look at all the people in the town. You see that? I wonder what they have for sale or what there is to do in that town. Walking backwards, upside down. The end. It's a great story. You can watch it again if you want to. You don't have to watch it just once. But see, see, look at the illustrations. And you know what else you can do? Hopefully mom or dad or grandma or somebody takes you to the library. And if they take you to the library, you can get your own library card and you can look to see if Silly Sally is at the library and you could borrow that book and take it home and look at it. And then when it's time, you have to take it back. 
it's kind of like you take it home and you enjoy it and then you take it back and you get another book so i hope that you do that too all right have a great day bye